I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Eppel. Started the week today with the financial markets here in North America close to record highs. The TSX on Bay Street, the benchmark within 150 points of its previous peak. Wall Street set some records last week and the Dow this week could have hit all-time records as well. As we're looking at the prospects of a trade breakthrough between the U.S. and China. Later this week, U.S. President Donald Trump will be meeting with uh, China's President Xi Jinping, and that's ahead of the G20 summit in Japan. And they are going to have face-to-face -face talks on the trade battle between the two superpowers. And that could be a major catalyst if some sort of a breakthrough happens there on the trade front. Also, uh, key signals on the Canadian and U.S. economies do this week. Meantime, President Trump taking on the U.S. Central Bank again on Twitter, criticizing the Fed policymakers for not cutting interest rates last week, as he has been demanding them to do, even though in the past presidents have remained at arm's length from a central bank policy. Uh, Trump calling the Fed a stubborn child, not cutting rates, and the market could be a lot higher than where it is right now. Having said that, this has been quite the first half of 2019 for North American benchmarks including the S&P 500 on Wall Street, up 19% year-to-date. That's the best first half since 1997. The TSX is up by more than 13% year-to-date as well, on all, all the prospects of lower interest rates. Canopy Growth is the biggest Canadian cannabis producer today. It was talking about growing marijuana outdoors. Right now, all of its facilities are indoors in greenhouses. They've been given the go-ahead from Health Canada to do a 160-acre plot in Saskatchewan for a uh, test for all intents and purposes. And it's about security. They joked, actually, about needing drones to secure the facility. Uh, nevertheless, Canopy stock has been down since last week's earnings, where they had more uh, losses in its latest quarter and slower revenue growth. Price for gold flirting with a six-year high today. Precious metal north of $1,400 an ounce U.S. And again, that's on the prospects of lower U.S. interest rates, which most recently has dropped the value of the U.S. dollar. And Bitcoin. Remember how the Bitcoin bubble popped? It was at $20,000 and then it was down to $2,500. Well, those memories have faded quickly as the cryptocurrency today got north of $11,000 U.S. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.